Hello everyone. I'm so sorry for the delay. <laughs> I was having so much fun um, making cards and just doing regular stamping up business that um, all of a sudden I realized I hadn't had anything to eat for a while. And then I got really jittery and I didn't think you wanted to watch my hands shaking. So it just took a few minutes. I needed a little granola bar and, you know, just a tiny bit of rest. Because, you know, these hands fly around anyway. You certainly don't want to have them all jittery. So, hello, everyone. Thank you for waiting for me, Jean. <laughs> hello, everyone. This is Lisa Harden coming to you live from the Stamping Zoo in a very wet and, I don't want to call it dreary, but a very wet and soggy Boise, Idaho, which is a perfect stamping day. I was going to work for maybe a couple of hours in my yard today, and I thought, you know, I saw the rain forecast, and I thought I can handle a little rain. But it was not, my friends, a little rain. <laughs> it was a lot of rain so and thunder, and I think some hail. I don't know. I've lost track. But anyway, you know what? It was a perfect excuse. Um, so, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for waiting for me. Like I said, a little jittery. A little uh, forgot to eat, which is what stamping does to me. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Very few things do that to me. Stamping does that to me. <laughs> so, hello, everyone. Hi, Brenda. Hello. We are post-birthday for Brenda, everybody. I hope she had a really great day. And um, hello, Susie in Breckenridge. Very nice to see you coming on. Hi, Corinne. Corinne has shared already. And she and so has Jean, which reminds me, crafty friends, please, if you would be so kind, please share this video over to your social media pages. Um, you can also like and subscribe. You can hit that thumbs up button or the laughing emoji. We don't like the angry emoji. I'm acting these out, right? Um, but we, and we like the care emoji. <laughs> we just don't like the angry one. So anyway, I would love it if you chat with me during this crafty time. And again, share uh, this video to your social media posts. Let your other friends know about how much fun we're having over here. And maybe they'll want to join us. You never know. And if you are joining me on replay or over on YouTube, hello everyone. I've been getting great great responses from my replay watchers and my YouTubers. And so I welcome you. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing and sharing as well. And if you haven't already, I mean, what do you got to lose? It's free admission. So I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, that will allow me eventually to go live over there with you. So I do want to say hi to everyone and I'm coming to you live on a special day, you know, normally I come live to you Thursday nights at 7, Mountain Time. But um, I wanted to come live today because I was in a bit of a, oh, I don't know, maybe not a quandary. But I got a product that I loved, I was ready to use it, and it took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to assemble it. And I did spend a few minutes looking for a video, a how-to video, and I didn't find one. I didn't find one on the Stampin' Up! site, and I didn't find one from another demo. And I thought, well, just step right up, Lisa, um, and you can make this video. So once I got it figured out, it's totally fun, okay? Um, it's a great product. It's at a great price point. And there's going to be like 101 uses for this thing. So... Um, Let's see, where do I want to start? I think I want to start by showing you the product um, as it is as it is shown on um, the Stampin' Up! website. Because, of course, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And one of the things that means is that I sell all of the products we're going to be using today. And so, if you are watching this and you find that, if you live in the United States, and you find that you think, that is fantastic. I need to have that. I would love to earn your business. You just have to go on over to the stampingzoo.com, hit the shop now button and start shopping with me. And if you have questions, you can private message me. I'm here to help you figure out what products will fit with your life, with your needs, with your budget. 
and show you how to use them, okay? Uh, that is what brings me a lot of joy. So let's see if I can bring this over and show you what we're talking about. What was it that caused me <laughs> to not be able to put something together? It is our new craft note cards and envelopes. That's as easy as it was. This is what it looks like, okay? And you should, I mean, it's all you need is a really good photo, right? But um, I will say I had a little trouble putting the box and the lid together. And then once I went, once it put, to, once I put it together, I realized not difficult, but sometimes you all know this. If you don't know what it's supposed to look like in the end, it's kind of hard to figure out how to get it there, right? So I fumbled around and then laughed about it. And then I thought, I'm going to help a friend. <laughs> I'm going to help at least one friend. So I will tell you, I've just put a little banner up there. Um, if you are shopping with me and your order totals $150 or less, I would love it if you would use this host code that I am putting up right now. That uh, helps me to gather up and um, combine smaller orders and uh, purchase things that I then use in my classes, here with you during the giveaways and things like that. So. Um, it's just a kindness you can do for me that also helps the Stamping Zoo and doesn't cost any extra um, to use a code like that for your order. So I appreciate that. I will leave that up for a few moments because I'm also going to show you, we are also going to be using um, a couple other products. First of all, we're going to use the Linen, Lovely in Linen Suite. And I believe you're seeing that picture now. This is um, let me take that off. This is the suite. The suite comes with a stamp set and a bundle, a quatrefoil embossing folder, and all of that beautiful paper. Okay, and here are some of the creations that the Stampin' Up! Uh, artisans, designers have made. It's a very, uh, what do I want to say? I think it's a very fresh color combination. I absolutely love the punch. I love the stamps. There's a stamp that says cheers. And so, you know, you got me at that because I like to say cheers. And then finally, um, here's a close up of just the stamps and the punch. The punch is very cool. Isn't it, Andrea? Hello, Anne from your garage. Oh my gosh. That is devotion. I tell you what. And so anyway, there's lots of different ways you can purchase this. You can purchase everything separately. You can purchase everything together with one item number. And um, so just keep that in mind. But all you need to do, if you are wondering, like, how do I get started with these beautiful products? Just like I said, go on over to the Stamping Zoo, hit the Shop Now button, and just type in craft note cards and type in linen in the search and that will get you just right where you need to be okay so now that we've talked about the how let's talk about well we've kind of talked about the how let's talk about how to put this together now that we've talked about all the products okay one minute and then i'm going to put this other screen down i'm always juggling the screens but you know what it's helpful it's helpful for you at least that's the feedback. It's helpful for you to see these things. And it's nice to see me so that I'm not just a pair of hands, uh, which is fine. I, please do note, I am wearing parakeet party nails today um, in celebration of my In Color Club. And so for the next, well, we're in the second month. And so I have three more colors to go, right? Okay, so this is how the craft note cards and envelopes come. By the way, keep this in mind as we transform this. This kit or this, this package of note cards and envelopes is $10. It's $10. I'm laughing, but it's not a joke. It's $10. That's it. You get supplies for 20 note cards and envelopes. Their measurements are three and a half by five. They are, uh, you can definitely send them with a first class stamp. Okay, 
But their other claim to fame here is that we get this box. And you can stamp on the card bases and the envelopes. And we will be preparing um, a set of cards. Because, of course, I want to show you how fun and easy it is. And um, But first things first, let's talk about this box. So the box is two pieces, right? Uh, top. I have another one here for you. Uh, a, a top and a base. Okay, I'm not going to open it because... There's some cards in there that I want to show you at the end. Just a little, uh, just uh, to entice you to watch until the end, right? Yes, I know, I'm sneaky that way. So first, like we do with any 3D project, we are going to bring our bone folder into the situation and we're gonna score all these folds because it is just going to make a project that much nicer, it, especially when you're making a box. It definitely makes it look more box-like. The sides don't bow out. <laughs> Stuff like that. Now, I can tell because I put that other one together, right? This larger one is the box base. This one is the top. So what we're working with right now is just... Um, just the base. Yes, Andrea, it makes a very nice gift. Decorate the cards, put them in the box. There you go, she says. Oh my gosh, it's like she already knew what we were gonna do today. <laughs> of course it is. Now we all like to be organized. It's a part of being a stamper, I think. And so uh, this is a nice way to organize all of these cards but it makes a beautiful gift. Okay, so now this is kind of the inside where all of the score lines are towards it. Now I am going to go to the outside for just a minute and I'm bringing in my tear and tape. The camera might be a little close, but you know what? I'm so sorry because I have a new phone and it's too heavy. <laughs> it's too heavy on my Archon stand. It's pulling it down. So please let me know if it gets clear down there, but I'm just going to take some of this off. It's easier to work with. And I am going to go to these tabs. There's four tabs here on the outside. All of this was cut, right? I didn't have to cut any of this. Um, just score it and then adhere it. So then let's do that over on the other two. Wow, it's like I pulled off. Thank you for the in-color bundle. Oh, you're so... Welcome. Thank you for being a part of it, Jean. And I'm glad it got there. And I'm glad it got there nicely. <laughs> like we always say, like I can bundle up the babies, but then I'm not quite sure how they're handled in between me and you. So I'm so glad. Okay, so I'm burnishing that tear and tape. Again, you can purchase this. It's in our annual catalog. Or if you're looking online, just type in tear and tape. And you'll get it. Okay, now this was the thing that was really tripping me up, is that this is meant to fold in and look finished on the inside, okay? So the way it goes, let me like dry fit this for you so you can get the visual. So this, oh, we should put some, sorry, we should put some tear and tape on these two. How many what do you get, Andrea? You get one box and 20 note cards and envelopes for $10. And I don't think all 20 cards, especially if you stamp and embellish them, I don't think all 20 cards will fit in the box. But that's another great thing is that you have some to give away and some for yourself. <laughs> so it's a great time. Um, for something like this because there are lots of kids graduating right and they need thank you cards and this would be a nice little special gift maybe they could well they I mean come on it's gonna be you let's face it the crafter in the family you could put this together as a special gift for someone who'd been really helpful and then um, send out the other you know 10 or 15 cards Okay, so let me try and show you how this is going to go. And then we're going to glue it together. So this and this. First, you're going to fold these in. And 
put this like this. I keep saying this. Then these guys are going to go in, right? And this part is the inside. That's the tricky part. And so it actually folds inside into the box. And I realize that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but that's okay. It will be an aha moment. Okay, and Andrea, you said that's a bummer. Well, it could be, except for, I do believe, let me grab my ruler. Oh, it's a little bit longer than 12 inches. Okay, I was going to say you could make some of your own <laughs> out of 12 by 12 paper, but you know what? Just enjoy the one, and then, like I said, they're only $10, so if you want to get more, um, you can just keep that in mind, and um, then you'll have lots of craft note cards and envelopes, and they are basically a definite neutral for lots of different things. As I will show you, we are going to bring in lots of different colors, and they will all look great. Okay, so I took the tear and tape backing paper off of these two on the same side, and then I am going to bring this up and square up the box, okay, on both sides. And then what I like to do is bring it down this way. I am trying to make sure that's not getting blocked on the camera. And I like to bring my bone folder in here and burnish it. Then that gets it really stuck. It's stuck, it's not coming apart. So make sure you get it right. Um, okay, and then same thing on these, right? On this side, these two. And I do like to do them at the same time. It's a little, it's a little less. Um, it's kind of difficult to be working with your hand inside the box. It's much nicer when there's just, it's still three-sided. Okay, and again, just make sure that you are getting it in there squared up. So how you want to do that is look at the outside right here. And just make sure that those are squared up. Okay, and do that over here as well. Just get it at least attached. Whoops, and then when you bring it in, then you can turn it over again. Now you can't really see me doing this, but then burnish it, okay? Now I think you can probably visualize this. So then I, the way I did it was, there are some tabs over here, see that? And there are some, there's some any tabs and some Audi tabs. And that's how I knew. Somehow those things are supposed to meet up. <laughs> but I didn't know how. So this thing, this part, the short one, with the any tabs, I folded that in. Okay. And then once I kind of had it burnished the way I wanted it there, um, I bring this in. But I put a little tear and tape on the inside of this. Again, to kind of make sure that that side stays, um, doesn't bow out. So then there's that. Now, it's just a case of, see how this is? And see this one's laying on top of it? You just push these down. And did you hear that little snapping noise? They snap in the place. And then finally, this is to help it make it look finished. But also, I'm sure they did this so that it's two layers of craft paper, right? And so, it's really sturdy. And so, this is why we, we use the bone folder on that. So that this can go inside. And then again, um, I'm sorry, you can't see right in the box. Let me try and, let me try and I don't know, help you out here. Then you're going to burnish this part. Okay. So that gives you a finished edge on the inside. And then I have another finished side. And pretty soon it's going to look like, how did this thing even go together? What do you think about that, everybody? Do you like this so far? 
It looked like something you can think of ideas for. Yes, I love it. It's a not, yes, it's a good strong box. You're right. Okay, so once you do one of them, right, then you go, oh, okay, I understand now. Okay, so then it's kind of the same. And once you know there's, an, there's two layers to this thing, you just work on getting, um, getting your bone folder and working on all of these score lines. Super easy. And there's our, there's our any tabs. And this one's more shallow because it's the top. It is cute, isn't it so neat, Susie? Whoever thought this up was really clever. I just, I wanted them to put a video together for it. Help a sister out. <laughs> okay, and then just like I did before, I'm going to flip it over to the finished side, but I'm going to put some tear and tape in places. Some of it's going to go on these four tabs on the outside. And you could use liquid glue, but I would personally not want to wait for that. And I really just think tear and tape is the way to go on this deal. Um, you could use Seal Plus, but you know what? I think Seal Plus is going to rip up some of this craft paper, the cardstock. That's been my experience. It's so strong that um, that's not necessarily the best. Okay. And then I am going to put tear and tape on this. But now um, I see Leslie's on here. Leslie, do you guys, you have this, yes? I mean, do you have access to this? I didn't, I don't think anything was held up for your orders, but um, it's very unassuming in the catalog. I'll show you where it is, but it's just kind of unassuming, right? It's just, a little workhorse kind of sitting there um, hiding. Okay, so again, we are going to start doing some adhering. And so I'm gonna take the two sides, fold them in. I kinda wanna almost fold these out of my way. Make sure that the corners line up right in there. Okay, and then you can really press it together. Now this one's easier for me to just use my fingers, but it's the same technique. You're just really trying to adhere that tape once you have it where you want it. You don't want this thing falling apart, and I don't think it will. Okay, and then those go in. We check our corners again, and then over here, right, get this, this is a really nice box. I know, it's all good, good, I'm so glad, so glad you have access to it. I hate to show you something and then find out, find out, you guys have to wait, so, excellent. Oh, let's see, I probably shouldn't take that off yet, that's okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, only it's smaller, right? We're going to take the side with the innies, pushing them in, okay? And then um, we're going to take this guy, fold it, okay? And it looks the very same way. I think you're right on top of it there. Okay, and then push that together, and the tabs click in. And then we take this, fold it over, and now again, this is much easier to just burnish with your hands, but you could certainly bring your bone folder in if you need to. And there we are. And guess what? It fits together so nicely now because it's double thickness. Look at that. Isn't that great? This is so fun. I love it. I love bo Oh. Kathy just said, I love boxes, which I was just going to say. I love boxes, too. Yeah, I get in trouble. You should see in my closet. Then the poor things get all 
bent up, but we're not going to get this one bent up because this one's probably going to go out as a gift. So now that is how you put together the box, my friends. I hope you enjoy that. And I'm not going to leave you there, though. What I'm going to do is bring in some of the cards and the card bases now because now that we've done that, here's the fun part, is we just get to create with all of our beautiful little supplies. Now, I have, again, used Lovely and Linen as my inspiration. I love it. Um, it's one of the great things that we always talk about with Stampin' Up! is that it's super easy to create because they coordinate the products for us. <laughs> so the papers are stunning and they all go together. You can choose any of these papers, put them with the other ones, and they will somehow look like they were professionally coordinated because they were. <laughs> so anyway, there they are. Um, they are double-sided papers, six different designs. And uh, that's what we're working with today. So let me point you back down. And actually, let me see here. If I can bring myself in without disrupting the screen. I'll try and stay over on the right. Hello, it is a jolie boîte. Oui, Francine. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> It's so cute, <laughs> or pretty, I should say. You said it was pretty, so yes, it is. All right, let's get some of this tear and tape backing paper out of the way. It's just as bad as, as a, uh, a dimensional backing. I'm also going to use a couple new, well, yeah, new embellishments. One is a set of embellishments from the New annual catalog just went live, I don't know, six weeks ago, a month ago. 21 to 23 in color opal rounds. So these are our in colors that were introduced last year, but the um, they st we still have lots of cool embellishments for them. And these are the opal rounds that are colored. Aren't they beautiful? Tango, whatever you're doing back there, cool it. And then these are actually a little preview from the new upcoming mini catalog that is um will be live to customers on july 1st they are called the fine sparkle adhesive backed gems they're actually in a suite that has some gnomes in them so that's kind of fun all right let me see what's going on here before i get mad nothing going on just a neighbor in a pickup if you can believe it the nerve tango quit it do this okay so again these are three and a half by five so I have just cut five different pieces of DSP uh, three and a quarter by four and three quarters so I gave myself a quarter inch um, border around everything one two three four where's my other card hmm huh. let's see if I have one two three four Aha, uh -huh. well, I don't know what happened there, but that's okay because we have the paper, right? So let me cut another one because it was in my head that I want to make a set of five cards. And so five cards we shall have. <laughs> so let's see here. I used that pattern. I got that guy. I could use that one. Oh, I think I know what happened. Okay, I'll go ahead and just cut one really like this one. This is kind of a stunner, isn't it? And it brings all the colors together. So again, um, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And that's, we are just going to keep this super simple. But while I'm doing that, I do want to cut a piece of vellum. Um, this is our very vellum. It's a nice cardstock weight, and we might want to vary the look of this just a little bit with a couple of pieces of vellum. So let's do that, four and three quarters. And then finally, I see I'm missing a card insert, so I'm going to bring in the soft succulent, that's this color right here, 
and I know that coordinates with the papers because Stampin' Up! tells me that it does. So I'm getting into my scraps here and three and a quarter. No, I need to do four and three quarters. So what's everybody been <clears throat> doing, excuse me, with their weekend? What has been going on, my friends? I spent some time, um, if you were on my Facebook page, you saw a picture of my stampers. So I had a stamp camp yesterday, and I had four stampers come in person, and I had two stampers get the kits to go. And so um, we had a great time, and then my body said, "You girl, you need to rest. So unfortunately, I miss going over to my friend Dina's for some pizza. Right. But that's all right. Homemade pizza, okay? Pizza like in a pizza oven, not just DiGiorno. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's okay though. I rested. I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale. Ooh, it's a little too realistic. But um, so I need to like break that up with something funny because that's a heavy show. And then here's our stamp set. Okay. A baseball tournament. Wow. That sounds good. And Kathy, I saw your note. I just hadn't had time to respond to it. You drove 12 hours home. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. I bet you were so happy when you got home, huh? Yes. It always feels good to be home. I know you've had a beautiful time on your vacations, but I'm sure you were just like, just get me home. This just sounds good. Okay, so along with the lovely and linen papers, I've brought together um, a couple of coordinating products. It's super easy to do this, right? So this is some of the evening evergreen window pane. What are we calling it? Window pane checked ribbon. Um, it did carry over from the mini catalog. It's now in the annual. Uh, love it. It has such a modern take. Doesn't it? Oh, I love it. It's and it's easy to work with. So of course that's a plus. I need to get my I need to get situated here. Um, this is Command Central, but I need my chamois. I also brought in the Evening Evergreen Sheer Ribbon, as well as a couple of pieces. This is all I have left until I place another order, because I always have to forget something. I placed an order this morning. Did I order this? No. But this is the Pale Papaya. Um, sheer ribbon as well. So we're working with a couple of the 21 to 23 in colors, right? Um, and really just adding lots of parts and pieces. And so let's see here. We are really just going to stamp our sentiments and stamp on the insides. We could also stamp on the envelopes though, but let's see how far we get with the cards. I don't want you to have to watch this forever. Although I'd love to visit with you forever. Um, so anyway, that's why everything's cut. And these aren't going to be fun folds. They're going to be note cards that you give in the box, right? Or that you wrap with a really pretty ribbon. Or use some of our other supplies to make a container for these, box, for these cards. Because remember, you get 20. And you can try to stuff all of them in the box. But I, I don't think it's going to work. Because I tried just plain and they kind of popped out of there like a jack-in-the-box. So, um, that might be fun. <laughs> you can do that too if you want. Okay, so I am just going to kind of choose, see again, I've cut all of these things that all go together. So, you can choose anything for the insert. I don't always like to have uh, white for the insert. I, in fact, I try not to. It's just, that's the happiest choice, right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to take the inside and a couple of my blocks are taking, they're having a spa day because remember I just told you that I had a stamp class here. And so after stamp camp, I always let them take a soak in the sink. So anyway, we're using a couple of squirrely blocks, but just hang with me. Just know that the other ones are around here somewhere, but they're off duty. 
Okay, and oh, and I also want my paper piercing mat because these are photopolymer stamps and you just get the best image when you have a little bit of cushioning underneath the photopolymer stamps. And I'm just gonna take this curly image, it's beautiful, and stamp it on there. That's it. I didn't measure where if it's in the middle or not. No one's gonna care. The only person that's going to care is you, maybe. Uh, the person you give it to is not going to notice that. And if it worries you or something, then just put your scrolly part over to the left or over to the right. See, like mine's not in the middle. I don't care. I like it. it looks handmade. Okay, that's straightish. Let's see if I can get this up. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so you don't rub it down immediately. Sometimes you got to have a redo. It was looking a little slanted. Okay, a little cockeyed there. All right, and so as you can see, this one has a beautiful blueprint, but these five cards are not going to focus on the blue. They are gonna focus on the pale papaya and the evening evergreen. And then I'm simply going to take some of this pale papaya sheer ribbon so what I'm doing on the back side of this DSP is I'm running, sorry, something fell down. I'm running a little bit of adhesive, right? And then I'm going to attach one end. Oops, attach one end. Kind of where I think I want it. That looks great. Then I'm gonna bring this over, attach it here, and cut off the excess. I don't want it so tight like that. I just want it to lay flat. And I could also be using my silicone mat if I really wanted to be doing it properly. But um, lots of times I do things, well, I'm thinking of a phrase, starts with half and ends with waste. But um, it gets done. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Oh, yes, I'm so... So funny today, huh? I haven't talked to anybody today. No, that's not true. That's not true. I talked to my best friend this morning for an hour on the phone, so I don't even have any excuse. Um, we had not talked for a while. Of course, I saw her. Um, uh, I saw her on Friday night. I went to her youngest daughter's birthday party, but that was about her daughter, right? That wasn't just about us. So um, I needed to have a follow-up call. Now I'm going to grab some of some of the pale papaya scraps that I have. You don't need much. And this is what we're gonna use for our punch, our sentiment and our punch. Okay, so our punch is very straightforward. The hardest thing is where did I put it? Where did it go? Oh my gosh, I hate that. Where in the world are you? Where in the world is Carmen Miranda? Okay, let me stamp this and then I'll <laughs> and then I'll find it. Hello, Deborah. Very nice to see you. And hello, Kathy. You went to a stamping class yesterday as well. Nice. Yeah, my day has been, like I said, my it was low key, except I kind of got into a huge um just time just flew. I can't even believe it. It's five o'clock. Stop it. That's crazy. Anyway, um, there's that. And then I'm going to stamp. How about best of luck? The sentiments in these are, like I said, I love them. They're so fun. So you've got thinking of you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, hello. I like that one a lot. Cheers and best of luck. So um, they're, all, they're all good and different. And, of course, they have their own specific style and font so I think that always makes it really fun seriously let the punch go maybe that's what I heard over there I'll check it out okay so you can just hover above it okay it's nice and clear for us and then when you think you have it where you want it press it down if it's not right guess what it's paper I think I can do better. That was a little off. Whoops. Okay, so here and then here. 
I need to pull this towards me a little bit. I'm catching some glare. And the camera is right where my head wants to be. So that does present a problem. Okay, let me see. Just a minute here. Oh, it's in the windowsill. Why didn't you tell me that? It's always in the windowsill. <laughs> Hello, Zaina and Sherry. Very nice to see you, ladies. We are just putting together the craft envelope and note cards. Craft box and note cards, whatever it's called, sorry. And um, then we're making some cards because that's what we do. Okay, best of luck. And that's super cute, but I'll show you one other thing I like to do with this is we've got to bring in our texturizing box, which is really just a spare paper pumpkin box, right? And then we are going to bring either whatever you have. This is close, so this is what I'm going to use. The paintbrush end of the dark pale papaya, and then I'm going to flick some speckles on it. Whoa, it got dark. Oh my gosh. Shut up, you bad dog. Tango, enough. Okay, that's pretty. And you could also use the contrasting color. You could definitely use sweet sorbet. You could use sweet sorbet. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to be dangerous. I'm not going to put it in the box. Living on the edge. Sunday afternoon. Living wild. Okay. This is living wild for me now. Okay. And then some dimensionals to make it nice. Tango, shut up. That's enough. Now quit it. And bring this guy back in. This gets popped up. Right? Super cute. And then let's finish it off with... Um, I don't know. You really have your choice. Let's do these opal rounds. Let's start with the opal rounds, shall we? Let's see. I have a couple of half sheets because I had a retreat and everybody got a half sheet. And then I guess there was a half sheet left over. So that's kind of fun. And then we get this going. There's two different sizes of five different colors. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's our cute little card. <laughs> I love it. And that's how they go together. Okay. So now that you know that's how they go together, let me speed it up if I can. That doesn't mean like, watch out. I'm going to go with the speed of light. So now I want to bring this one in and I'm going to lay this directly onto our card base. Get a little getting a little claustrophobic around here. Okay. Let's lay this one down. And remember, I have those vellum strips. And I think I would like to kind of soften that pattern. So that's how we do that. And then, um, what color do I want for the sentiment? I might just do... I might do on white cardstock for this one in sweet sorbet. Because that sounds kind of fun. And then the insert, let's do white on the insert too. Let's get rid of that white insert. Again with sweet sorbet. So we're kind of using in colors both last year's and this year's. <laughs> oh, it's I'm sorry. I know when my dog starts barking, it um, drives dogs on the TV crazy, right? <laughs> if you, oh, I forgot to give you a third option for getting this really straight. It's just put it on your grid paper. In fact, that's what I should be doing. It's sitting right there. Um, let's see. We put this under here, right? And then if you put it on your grid paper, here, let's turn it over. Let's test it down. What did I say it was? Four and three quarters. Anyway, you can still just eyeball it with the squares. But if you really want to, you can count the squares and get it all ready that way too. But I'm not going to do that. I know it's not going to end up perfect, but what's perfect? 
what's perfect anyway? Oh, very cute. Okay, I'm also listening to an audiobook, which is our book for book club, and it's called The Searcher, and it's very interesting, um, and I like the guy who's reading it. It's told, it's written by a woman, but told from the perspective of a man, and it's set in Ireland, but don't expect a lot of writing about Ireland itself. It's more about the village of people that this American goes to live in. That's all I will tell you. But I definitely, it's keeping my attention. I still have several hours to listen to it. But um, it's kind of a good one that way, right? If you want to, like, just get, get something that has some meat to it. So there's this guy. Okay, and then, now how do we put this on here without showing it? Well, we just sneak some stuff back behind wherever we put the sentiment or the embellishments. Your cat was asleep and said, oh, <laughs> now you're getting a side eye from the cats, aren't you? I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. He um, is quite a lively one. And also, I'm going to give him a little bit of grace because nothing has been going on. Like, they had a day full of activity yesterday and then... Um, they got to go get coffee with me this morning in the C.A.R. And that was it. Because um, I've been doing my thing. <laughs> I was like, all right, you had fun yesterday. You saw um, all the stampers. And now you just got to, like, hang out. Just going to have to hang out, boys. And um, figure it out yourself. Oh, oh, hello. Let's do that. So I like the oh, hello. I should be using my piercing mat, but I'm not. Uh, look at this. Isn't it so cute? So again, you could spackle it. You could, I mean, you could, um, spritz it. You could leave it plain like a normal person would. Or you could be like me and you could be like, I can't leave it plain. It's got to have something else. So there's a cool couple of stamps in here that are just tiny. There's this one. There's this one, which is beautiful, and there's this little guy. We're going to use this little guy. And, again, I don't have I don't have any A blocks in here because they're taking a bath. We were all about the A blocks yesterday, apparently. <laughs> now that he's woken up everybody else's animals, he's, he's gone back to quietness. Okay. So then this, I'm going to take and do some second generation stamping. Oh, that doesn't look right. Darn it. That's going to have to have an embellishment on it to hide it. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, and this. So I'm just giving it a little bit of something back behind the sentiment. Just for something different. Why not? And again, bringing in our fat little label punch. Oh, I've got a glue dot on there now. How'd that happen? Okay. I think they're cute. And so, where's that vellum? Okay, now that I have my stamping done. So I can just, I'm just going to put this one down flat. I already know I have this vellum cut to exactly the same dimensions as my DSP. Okay, so um, then I get to bring in. Let's use. I don't think I have any more sweet strawberry, so we're gonna use pale papaya. Let's use the fine sparkle adhesive back gems because actually this big flat one might come in handy right there and then I'm just gonna put the other ones where I think I might want them on the front because they're going to hide a couple of glue dots to hold this onto the front and you don't have to have adhesive in every corner or anything like that that's an urban myth you just need some glue dots So just take our mini glue dots. You can put them on directly back behind there if you're feeling brave. 
right? They'll get in the right area. And the glue dots, yeah, they're a little bit bigger. So sometimes I kind of roll them on themselves. You might see a little bit of it, but again, it's not going to ruin the look of your super cute card. And then again, here we go. There, that's better. Sorry, I was out of frame for a minute. Bringing everything really close to me to work on it. Okay. So then we have this, right? You just have to lay it down on this side so you can see where it is. And then, right, we put seal back behind the sentiment. And we put the glue dots back behind that. And then there's that guy. See how these come together? I have already lost the first one I did. Um, I probably won't be able to show it to you. <laughs> oh, gosh. There, I have a couple of card kits open, right? So it's kind of getting crazy in here. That's okay. Here it is. All right. Don't lose track of it. It's going to have a special place back over here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And let's see here. I'm just looking through your comments real quickly. I do like to answer questions if I need to, want to. Oh, Jean, you went to a wedding yesterday. Got home late. You're out partying. Oh, nice. First outing since your surgery. I hope you, yeah, you probably feel like you need some rest today. But I'm so glad you were able to get out. And for a wedding, no less. That's fun. I hope you had good food, good cake, and good family and friends there. That sounds really fun. It's wedding. It's the year of the wedding, right? People have been waiting. So um, it's time. Let's get this off here. I know what we can use. We can use this, an adhesive remover. Now, Stampin' Up! doesn't have this, but I actually sell these in my adhesive essentials kits. You don't sell them. You get them for free. And that's what they do. They take off adhesive. Um, you don't necessarily need it for your punch, but it takes adhesive off of cardstock. So if you've gotten a little too much liquid glue on something or a glue dot somewhere where it shouldn't be, then you just wait for a liquid glue to dry and then just um, work at it easily with that adhesive remover. And that's how that works. And let's see here, I actually have... This is my adhesive essentials kit in a cute little tote. Isn't it cute? Yeah. So, but it's clear so you can see everything, see what you need to get at. And um, it's $40 and that gives you a free liquid mini glue and a free adhesive remover like I just talked about. And then also you get this one for free. It's a sand and a rubber eraser. So this is for ink. And this is for pencil. And then on top of that, you get the seal plus, and these are new cartridges, not refills, and the seal, okay? You get the Stampin' Dimensionals, a full package, a full package of mini Stampin' Dimensionals, and a full mini glue dots. And then you get a half a package of black Stampin' Dimensionals. They come in mini and full size. And so again, all of that for $40 plus shipping if you need it. I'm happy to send these. I have several of these ready to go. Happy to send them out for you. And one thing, one last thing to say about this. If you already have cartridges and you just need the refills, then um, the price is $32 and I'll replace these with refills, okay? So it's however you need it. And again, then these three things end up being free. So, thanks in advance, but it's what you need. If you're coming to a class of mine, a stamp camp of mine, this is what you need. And so it's just all packaged up really easily. And I know that um, some others of you out there, even though you don't come to my class in person maybe, you might like to have the Adhesive Essentials Kit. Hello, Matt, and very nice to see you. And thank you for watching. Yay! We, If you're coming in late, we are making these craft note cards and envelopes with this super cute box is so fun and the whole package of 20 note cards and envelopes plus the box is ten dollars <laughs> oh brother 
Sorry, getting everybody's animals stirred up again, huh? I could shut the door, of course, but where's the fun in that? Tango? Stop it. I do have two dogs, actually. There's a little one in there named Cash, and he is kind of growling, but he is not nearly as vociferous as my Tango. Okay, let's pull in this evening evergreen because it's just beautiful. <gasps> Look at these. So both of these are gorgeous. Hey, who's coming back here? Come here. Being really quiet about it. <gasps> Tango. No barkies, Tango. You better stop that, okay? Or you're going to get a spanking when I finish here. He's super scared. Trust me. Hey, you're all right. Oh, he's super scared, but also it's 519, which is 19 minutes after his time. So, um, he's just going to have to wait, y'all. You're just going to have to wait. Loud mouth. <laughs> okay, let's grab our evening evergreen. Again, this is just so easy to put these cards together. Um, let's see here. I want... That one little flower stamp. You guys, you need to get this bundle. Just trust me. Um, I've already used it for one or two lives. I used it at class yesterday. I'm like kind of addicted. And so I want you to be addicted too. Because <laughs> then it's fun. Then I feel like, oh yeah, everyone loves this. Everybody loves it. Okay, and we aren't even using the main stamp, which is like so phenomenal. Look at this. Look at that. It's so cool. Okay, so back it up, Lisa. And I think a crisp white um, sentiment on this one will be nice. Now I am going to do, I was looking for a little, one of these little um, decorative stamps. Let's use this one. I haven't used this at all. How embarrassing. I mean, how do I know if I like it? Okay, so let's put this one on. And I'm gonna tap it off over here on my grid paper. Oh, it's stunning. Stop it, Stampin' Up. It's so cute. If I were doing a lot of these, I would make a grid, or I mean, I would mark a spot on my grid paper to get those even, right? And then you just like put it in place, just like a little machine. Um, they're too little that I don't know that I'd bother with the Stamparatus. But. And they're also slightly curved, so they fit into this label punch. And so we will use that one next. Uh, let's see here. I still, I really like the outside, this stamp that's the, um, the border. But you don't have to use that. You know, you could just punch it. And I did a card, um, again... I think it was a couple of weeks ago, I used this on a live, and I did the card that was simply decorated with five different label punches that I punched designer series paper out of. So, yeah, it works. Okay, whoops, I wasn't done with that ink yet. Ugh, crushing myself. Evening Evergreen, very pretty. Now let's put this at the top, okay. Oh, it's so cute. All right, now what are we going to say? We have something that lives up to this, how cute it is. How about happy birthday? Everybody needs the happy birthday note card. I think this would be a nice little set to carry in your car, right? The box is sturdy, so um, you can throw it in your glove compartment. Jockey box. What do you guys call that thing? I think growing up we called it a jockey box. Why? I don't know. But um, now I try to be fancy. Say the glove compartment. It doesn't hold gloves. Not for me. Oh, that's so pretty. Check this one out. Nice, right? Look how easy that is with simple stamping. Simple stamping. Which is not my forte, but I can simple stamp with this set. All right, and then finally, just make sure you are good on all four corners. 
punch it out. Oh, so satisfying feeling. You know, as I often say, stamping up or stamping paper crafting is as much a tactile thing as it is a visual thing. And I love the feel of the cardstock, the feel of paper going through the punch. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so then this guy, right? And then we're gonna put this on the front with just this really clean looking sentiment. And then I'm going to wrap ribbon around the spine of the card, the fold of the card. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking of a book, right? Okay, and again, gotta use my dimensionals. Something has to be on dimensionals on this card. So, okay, Leslie says the glove box, see? And I think of Leslie as fancy. So that works. <clears throat> it's, um, just an Australian thing. They're fancy. They can't help it. And I know you think we're hicks. You don't even need to mention it. Okay. Because some of that's true. <laughs> just I'll own it. It's all right. <laughs> what? Excellent food. Oh, at the wedding. Excellent food. A pasta bar, cupcakes, and macaron. Heaven, I mean, I'm kind of mad that you didn't invite me. <laughs> I'd be like, you know, they'd be asking me, do you know the bride or the groom? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, where's the cake again? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so now we're just going to tie a cute little, try to tie a cute little square knot over here to the side. So, um, let's see. Left over right, right over left. You just need to make sure that the that the um, same piece goes over both times. Oh, I need my tweezers. Um, this distracted me. Look, I thought I was bleeding. Oh my God, I'm bleeding. Sweet sorbet. Here, you can't see it. There it is. Anyway, that's fine by me. It the colors coordinate, so it just I just needed to make sure I wasn't gonna bleed on my card. That's all. First things first. Okay. And then this needs to go over this one again and through. Let's see how. Oh, it has promise. It has promise, people. You can tell when it's going to look messed up or cute. It's cute. Yay. I'm going to move it over a little bit so I can make um, a tail. Oh, this. This uh, evening evergreen is very luxurious feeling to me. Like we should have it in velvet. Isn't that pretty? Let's put some sparklies on it too. This is a good card. See, that's what the fun is of making five little note cards. They're all going to have a different look. They're all going to be, um, in this case, if you use an all occasion set like I am, um, they're all going to be for some different thing. And, of course, you have those ones in there that say, like, oh, hi. That's for everything, right? Um, you could leave these with um, a tip at a restaurant. You can have it in the car. So you go, oh, right. No, I knew it was um, Aunt Elsa's birthday. Of course I did. Don't be silly. I have her card right here. Slip a little gift card in there. And then Aunt Elsa doesn't know any different, right? She thinks you remembered her. Okay, we have a couple more. Are you hanging out with me? You ready to do it? We can make five. Because <laughs> we have the supplies cut, right? I cut the supplies for five. And so um, I don't want to just leave them here alone. And we have another piece of vellum if we want it. And oops, come on now. And then we also have... I think I'll just put the colors together. Oh, see, that's where the extra one went. And um, once you get to the bottom of your stack, then you start realizing where all your little things were that you lost. <laughs> so we're going to definitely do one in pale papaya. And hmm, 
I don't think I want to cover it up. Let's put this off to the side. That's for our next one. So this, again, will be the insert. And, oh, you're fancy. You've never had a macaron? Really? They're not a thing there? You know, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, they're beautiful. And, oh, I was going to use that for my piercing mat. They're very beautiful and eye-catching. But they're not really my thing. I like them because they taste like almond. And I love almond. But, um, the texture... No. Now, will I eat one? I mean, don't be silly. <laughs> of course I will. I'm going to straighten this up a little bit. Sorry, peeps. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's sugar. So, of course I'm going to eat it. But, um, yeah. I would rather have something else. I'd rather have a coconut macaroon, actually. Those, you know, they've got some chew to them. They've got a good texture and all that stuff. So let's just make one that's just monochromatic. So we just have a pale papaya. I do believe this needs to be clean. Can't quite tell. Just in case. Oh, they are a thing here. But you've never had the opportunity to have one. You can make them, you know. But um, if you don't know if you like them, I would hold off on that. Because they're a little bit of work. Yeah, there's a the whole timing and... There's a technique called macronage. You know, I would not say that I'm an expert. I have made them before, but I'm not an expert. So I'm just taking it to that level. Now, let's see. Oh, we didn't use cheers. I love cheers. And I don't think we use thank you either. So um, those are our next cards. Cheers. I sign my cards cheers sometimes. Again, why? Because I think it sounds fancy. It all kind of boils down to that for me sometimes. <laughs> Not really. Um, but I did think it was funny. Uh, we went to a nicer dinner with my family one time. And my nephew was, he was probably only seven or so. And they liked, my niece and nephew always liked going to nice restaurants. And we always took them because they were our only kids in the family. So... We took them where we wanted to go. And so, guess what? That's where they like to go, even now. But, um, so when the waiter came to our table and he asked all of us whether we would rather have still or sparkling water, um, first Jin wanted to know what that was. And then when I told him, he was like, oh, sparkling water. And then, um... Then after that, he asked my brother to buy it for him all the time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was funny for sure. My brother's like, um, thank you for introducing him to water that I have to purchase. Appreciate that. Well, I purchase it, so. Oh, my sugars. Uh, your sugars are raising at the thought, right? I know. <gasps> oh, brother, did you see that? I tried to attack the paper. Stop it now. Just cool it. I don't even have the jitters for my low blood sugar. <laughs> I think I did that one um, upside down from what I did before. So it just shows you like there's no right or wrong way to eat a Reese's, right? And then those pieces. And then we can bring this in. And see, you get a whole thing going here. You get a whole assembly line. And really, if I were doing 10 of these, I would put, I would stamp all the inserts. And then I would, um, i do each task for every card. So I would stamp and punch all the sentiments at the same time. I would stamp and punch, um, you know, any embellishments. I would adhere all the same paper to the fronts at the same time. Okay, just a minute here. This one's bowing a little bit, so I can't tell if it's even. Ooh, isn't that pretty paper? Look at that. And I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but I'm going to bring it in super close. So this is actually, um, it has a linen appearance. It has streaks running through it horizontally and vertically so that it really drives home the... 
I'm looking at it on the camera. That's horrible. But it really drives home that theme of linen, right? And so I don't know that it plays off very well on the camera, but just trust me. You need to get some of this paper. It's good stuff. Hello, Carla. Yes, we are loving this. No, it's going to be there. It's permanent. Loving this rain. It's half past midnight. Where are you? <laughs> Zena, where are you? Get to bed. <laughs> oh, but I'm so glad you were here. Let's see. If it is six here, um, she is maybe in the UK. I'm so glad to have you here. Come back again and you can watch it on replay. I'm going to record it just for you. Oh, so cute. Okay, see, now I'm doing some more simple ones, and I kind of like them more simple. Even less time. But they've always got to have some jewelry. Oh, yes. I love those. So, like I said, this comes with a suite. This is in a suite, these embellishments are, that are gnomes. Storybook gnomes. Going to be cute. If you are a demonstrator, you already know this because you have access to the catalogs early you have access to ordering early and a lot of other good stuff and if any of this sounds good to you and you're not yet a demonstrator it's so easy to be a demonstrator seriously it's not that when you sign up to be a demonstrator you don't have to do all this you you can just be your own customer and you don't even have to tell a soul that you're in stampin up <laughs> but what happens is you get a 20% discount at least on all of your purchases as long as you remain active. And your first purchase, you pay $99 for $125 of product, free shipping. So you just have to pay tax if applicable and the $99. And then you get, like I said, $125 of product. And this month, oh, I'm trying that. I think I like it. This month only, no, that's not true. During celebration and this month, you can also get a special gift of a custom planner that is so pretty. Um, it's a $45 value. So you would definitely get, by the time you got your business supplies, you also get a free paper pumpkin. You'll get around $200 of product for $99 plus tax. And um, you can be part of my team, which is fun. We are a small but growing team. We do lots of things here at the house, but I all, often I um, meet online with everybody. So we just stay, we just stay communicating and uh, pass on all sorts of good stuff to each other. So anyway, if any of that interests you, it's a great time to join. It's always a good time to join. But now you get that extra little perk of a beautiful planner. And um, it's really nice. If I hadn't, didn't already have one in the works, I would have bought it and used it. So anyway, um, please keep that in mind. But the other thing is, if you just have questions about what that means or what are you going to do? Are you going to call me and want to bother me? I mean, the question's no on that. But... Um, if you just want to know more about it, or if I've forgotten to tell you something, then you can call me. But that's how easy it is. Like, there's not a lot more for me to tell you, because that's how easy it is. And also, you don't have to be a demonstrator and order a certain amount of product ever. You can have that starter kit be the only time you place an order. You can get your freebies and try it out. And then if you don't like it, um, you don't have to buy anything else. So, it really is non-committal. And believe me, I don't want your firstborn child. I know I say that a couple of times, but I want you to know, I will never take anyone's child. <laughs> Whether you ask me or not, I will not. I, that's just not even in the books. Okay. Ooh, pretty. So pretty. Now I'm going to make another one that's probably going to look like this last one that I did. Um, but I can't help it because I liked that. Uh, I liked that pattern. So I need both hands. 
steady now. Okay. And finally, let's bring in that thank you. I may have used it in the beginning. I don't. Oh, how about the thinking of you? I think that's. Let me see. We have a happy birthday. Cheers. Best of luck. Oh, hello. We'll do a thinking of you. Because the oh, hello could also be oh, hello and thank you. Right? Okay. And then thinking of you. Nice. Ooh, that might not work. We may have to use the thank you. Because I took up a little bit of space with um, that decorative piece at the top. <laughs> so I think we only have room for thank you. And that works too. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, let me clean this guy up. Thinking of you fits though, just know that you can't put anything else at the top of the punch. There's not room for it. How about this? Oh gosh, we're gonna come close to this too, but we'll try it. If not, I can always redo it. That's fine. It's perfect. Okay, uh, here comes the rain again. Just like the Eurythmics told us, here comes the rain again. Annie Lennox, man, she has a great voice. You know, um, when I can't sleep, I end up looking up random things on YouTube. You know you do it too. And um, she has a lot of videos of her singing um, just with the piano and filming herself. It's really, she's, her voice still sounds just as beautiful as it always has. And she's actually still quite, I don't know. Um, I always thought she had a really striking appearance and she still does. I don't know what her age is, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, so check it out. And while you're over on YouTube, you might want to check out the Stamping Zoo too. You can watch it in the middle of the night. I know some of you do because I see the views, right? Because I'm always excited when I see, oh my gosh, I have 10 more views. <laughs> and it was in the middle of the night. So I know other people are like waking up and doing the same thing that I do. <laughs> it's okay. We all have a little insomnia sometimes. And I actually find that I know that you're not supposed to be on electronic devices. Um, I know that they say that's bad for your sleeping patterns, but I find that if I will put my mind to thinking about something like that, instead of thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm awake. I have to get up in four and a half hours. I have to get up in four hours. Um, if I will just like listen to an audiobook or watch a little YouTube video. Um, then I go back to sleep. Oh, yay. So cute. All right. This is the last one we're going to put together, my friends. But um, just know that I'm going to show you all of them together. And then I'm going to show you a couple that I started. I did not finish the other set of five because um, that's when I was getting jittery. <laughs> But it's okay because their pieces are already cut. Now I'm going to use soft succulent with this. Um, it's just a little bit lighter in color, right? And it still works. Perfect. So look at this. Oh, so cute. I'm in love with all these things. Okay, let me get rid of this beautiful grid paper for a moment. I didn't mess it up very badly, did I? I can't believe it. And let me bring in our cards. And then I'll show you the other cards that I started making. But, so we have the cheers. We have the thank you. And these kind of pop up, don't they? The best of luck. Here, I'll show them to you like this. Then thank you. Then we have the cheers. Ooh, we have the happy birthday. I think this might be my favorite, which is really odd. But, um, and then we have the, oh, hello, with the vellum over the top of it. Okay, so you can tell me which was your favorite out of these. I know you might not be able to see them because they kind of pop up. But, let's see. What do I have? Here. <laughs> Here you go. Now you can see them. 
<laughs> and let me show you one last trick up my sleeve with um, these boxes. So the box we have, <clears throat> excuse me, this ribbon is from another suite called Abigail Rose, also stunning. And it's called Natural Finish Ribbon. Okay, it's three quarters, no, it's seven eighths of an inch. It's rather large. It comes blank, actually, but I was working on a project. See that? And I wanted to coordinate. And so I just stamped right on the ribbon. Yes, so you can stamp in any color you want. You could stamp using the lovely and lasting. This, again, was just something from Abigail Rose that I was using to put together another gift of Stampin' Up! products. But doesn't it go perfectly with this box? And let's see here. I don't want to cut it off with a roll before I know how much I need. I hope. Oh, yes. You know what? I think it may just take about the amount that we have stamped. Perfect. Okay. So anyway, that's some, that's might be my favorite ribbon, which is crazy because I'm not a natural kind of person. <laughs> not in my look, but in my card making. But I'll tell you what, you don't, you can make this ribbon anything you want. And that is really appealing. Okay. So then you just, of course, tie it. Oh, I need my tweezers again. We have some new Stampin' Up! tweezers coming out, reverse tweezers, as part of a kit of embossing essentials, $27. You're gonna want it, I'm just telling you. You can put it in a starter kit, or you can wait until July 1st and buy it. That works too. Okay, this is gonna be a little bow, but that's all right. I kinda needed more on the other side, but um, I'm gonna open it up, so. I think this is the one that has the other cards in it. I, I wasn't paying attention. Or I would have, you know. Okay, my bow needs to be a little bit bigger. But isn't it pretty? Look at this. I mean, you can make your own custom ribbon. For goodness sake. How cool is that? Is this the one? I can't remember. Oh, this is the one. Okay, so while you're looking at that, Uina and I can't believe how beautiful it is. Um... I'm going to show you the other cards I started, again, with these papers. But remember, we just chose some of the colors. I kind of tried to feature the green, the evergreen, and the pale papaya. But then with this set, I was just trying to take it kind of red, white, and blue. And um, so, again, current products. only got three made, sorry. But um, current products, so Sweet Sorbet, um, Night of Navy... And so then it, it just was just as fun, right? And even on this one, I used a little pale papaya and I used our denim ribbon, which is now on, it's retiring soon, but it's $4.90, I think it's $4.90. So that's just even more looks you can get out of the very same paper um, and the very same little craft box and envelopes. Have I sold you on the craft note cards and envelopes yet? I hope so. Because, I mean, look at this. Wouldn't this be so nice to give to anyone, really? Like I said, anybody who is making a lot of thank you cards, you could make some thank you cards for them and um, give them, you know, the box as a little keepsake. And you can take 10 of the cards and you can put 10 of the cards in there. So what did we decide? Which was our favorite card? Let's see. Happy girl. Oh, Jean's sticking with me. Happy birthday. The evergreen one. That's it. Maybe you guys don't have a choice. That's okay. You just ordered the denim ribbon. Good job, Corinne. Yes, it's on sale. Okay, so a quick reminder again. This is the craft. Let me see. Let me find it. Oh, I was going to show you where it is in the catalog. That's right. One minute here. Let me get that paper embellishments. It's between paper and embellishments. I remember that. Okay. Let me bring up the desk. Whoa, 
Let me bring the desk back. The desk is looking crazy. Uh, there. Okay. So it is on page 137 of the annual catalog. If you do not have an annual catalog and you're not working with another demonstrator, I would love to send this to you. You just have to um, private message me your mailing address, okay? So, um, yeah, it's over on page 137 in the cards and envelopes section. And I just want to report to you, honestly, it is $10 for all of those. 20 cards, 20 envelopes, and the box, okay? Uh, see this product in use on page 62. Let's go over there and see what they've done with it. This catalog is as much an idea book as it is an ordering book. So um, I definitely think you should have a catalog. And see, they've used them right up here. They've put some liners in the cards, which is another um, die cut item. And then they have just used one big sentiment. They've just used all different things. You can... You just have to be limited by your own imagination, okay, on this deal, because it's craft. It is neutral, totally neutral. So I hope that gives you just a few ideas of what to do. Sorry, my hair just like lost its mind. Um, I hope that gives you a few ideas of what to do with the craft, no cards and envelopes, and the cute box. I mean, you got to love it, right? Uh, even with this kind of little homely bow. <laughs> It's too funny. So, again, um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like these or any of our thousands of paper crafting products, please message me or go over to thestampingzoo.com and hit the Shop Now tab. And while you're there, why don't you sign up to receive my emails? A little purple pop-up box will ask you if you want to do that. And I don't bombard you. Um, maybe twice a week not always. And uh, it's a great way to know all the Stampin' Zoo news. Okay. So with that, thank you, my friends. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the love you always throw my way. And I will see you next week. Well, actually, I'll see you in a few days. I'll see you on Thursday. Okay. Hang in there tomorrow. It's Monday. <laughs> Bye, everybody.